All right, everybody. It's part three of our series on EA Sports College Football 25. Who would Vandy's all-time cover be? We're going all defensive today. Let's get it. You are Locked On Vandy, your daily podcast on the Vanderbilt Commodores, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome in to the Locked On Vandy podcast on the Locked On Podcast Network. I'm your host, Corey Burton. Did you know that I'm a former Rivals employee and high school football coach? Well, now you do. Anyway, on today's episode, we kick off part three of our series in honor of the release of EA Sports College Football 25. We look at who would be on the cover of the game for Vanderbilt if they did a cover for the all-time best. I, pr- I present you with 12 options based on the feedback that I got and my own opinion, that is. We will eventually narrow it down to one, eh, possibly two uh, front and back covers maybe. Um, but today we get defensive here, uh, talking about uh, edge – Edge rusher, uh, edge player, Deo Odengbo, uh, and linebackers, Jamie Winborn and Jamie Duncan. So we're going all defense today. So thanks for making Locked on Vandy your first listen each and every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube as a part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Speaking of every day, thank you to the everydayers who make all this possible. Uh, without you guys, I don't know what kind of show I would have, but – I certainly do appreciate it. That's for sure. Be a friend. Spread the news. Let's get that list up. On today's episode, today's episode is brought to you by LinkedIn. These days, every new potential hire can feel like a high stakes wager for your small business. That's why LinkedIn Jobs helps find the right people for your team faster and for free. Post your job for free at LinkedIn.com slash locked on college. Terms and conditions apply. So uh, first on our list. All right. We've uh, we've reviewed six so far. We've reviewed uh, Jordan Matthews, Earl Bennett. We've reviewed uh, Casey Hayward. We've reviewed um, Ralph Webb. And we've reviewed Chris Williams. All really good options. So uh, today we're going to start with Deo Odengbo. Now, Deo Odengbo um, is a 6'6", 276-pound edge player, from Irving, Texas, Carrollton Ranch View. A little fun fact about Deo, uh, since graduating, he was drafted in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft uh, by the Indianapolis Colts. He is still playing for them as we speak, Uh, so uh, he's absolutely crushing it in the NFL. Um, He's playing defensive end uh, there. So um, he's on this list for sure. Uh, He was – here's his career, okay? He was obviously selected 54th overall in the draft. Uh, He lettered four seasons, played 44 career games with 29 starts. He was all-SEC second team in 2020, the COVID year. He had 125 tackles, 31 for loss, 12 sacks, one pick, one calls fumbled, two fumble recoveries, and 22 quarterback pressures. Um, He finished fifth in in Vanderbilt history in tackles for loss. Um, he, uh, he had career high two sacks at Missouri in 2020. Um, he forced a fumble, uh, against South Car- forced a crucial fumble in 2018 against South Carolina. Um, at least one tackle in, in his final 25 career games, his senior year in 2020, the COVID year, all sec, um, he, uh, as a junior, he, pl- he, uh, played in 12 games, started 11, um, he had uh, four stops, including a tackle for a loss in the opener against Georgia in 2019. Um, as a sophomore, he had four tackles in the bowl game, uh, a, a bunch of good uh, things against Ole Miss, South Carolina, two, two sacks against Ole Miss, first career fumble uh, caused against South Carolina. He had 28 tackles, uh, six and a half for loss, two and a half sacks, and six quarterback hurries. As a freshman, he was playing. Um This dude was a menace. Uh, One of the things that made him really, really scary was the fact that he is strong. He had a really good, uh, he had a really good long arm move, and he was really, really dangerous on the edge. And so, you really, as an offensive coordinator, you had to specifically, 
you had to specifically game plan for him because it was uh, one of those things where if you didn't, you know, he moved all over the defensive line. He was he was very versatile, being at six six, about two eighty. Um, really good first step, great hands, good fast hands, um, and played with great pad level as well. He was he was. Uh, I guess if I had to have one adjective to describe what Deo Odengbo was, was he was a disruptor, and he was somebody that just could not be stopped. And I, I think during his time, he was in very he was in kind of a weird era of Vandy football where it got kind of as a program got kind of progressively worse. He was, he was one of those lone bright spots. Um, and he was transitioning from being a young guy on some of the better uh, bowl teams that Derek Mason had um, after he had taken over for James Franklin, after James Franklin left for Penn state um, as those teams got progress as the recruiting classes and those teams got a little bit worse. Dale Odangbo was just continuing to rise, <clears throat> but I mean, the guy just quick off the edge. Just again, I, I remember seeing him play live a, a, a few times, and just knowing it, I, I kept wondering, "Where's ten? Where's ten? Where's 10? And he just has a rare combination of size and speed. And I'm, I'm watching him against A and M. He's he's really good at it. I mean, it, a lot of tackles for loss. And uh, for a team that just didn't really amount to much, and, and I feel like that's what I say a lot about, about a lot of these Vandy guys. On, on teams that didn't amount to a whole lot, they really – he really flashed, and he really stood out. Second team all-conference on a team I think that was winless that year um, in conference that ultimately led to uh, Derek Mason getting uh, – I think getting let go. Um, they ended up canceling it in Georgia his senior year. Um, so it was uh, – it was very, very tumultuous time for Vanderbilt football. So not a lot of good was happening, and not and not a lot of good was uh, was coming out of that program. So it's hard to really name a bunch of guys to the All Conference team if your offense can't move the ball, um, if your defense, it, you know, one man can't play defense, no matter how good you are, one guy can't do it all. So, um, but but if there was a guy that was close enough to doing that, it would be Deo Dengbo, and so. Um, just really, really impressed with him and uh, the stuff that he brings to the table. But I mean, uh, as a cult, um, he's making some he's making some headway there too. I mean, he is, um, you know, one of his notable games I think was uh, was against the Steelers. Uh, he there was a must win game last season uh, against the Steelers for the Colts. I mean, they were in the thick of the playoff race. And he just absolutely dominated uh, that game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. He had a uh, 27.4% pass rush win rate against the Steelers. They keep those kind of stats in the NFL. He had three pressures, one and a half sacks. Um, he had eight tackles. And uh, he had uh, – he it was second on the team behind Samson Ebukam. Definitely said that wrong. Uh, who had nine and a half uh, sacks there. He also had six sacks in the Colts' last six games uh, that he played. So he was an absolute force. Uh, so he's getting it done on the NFL field as well. So that I think that leads to um, I think that leads to a lot of why um, why he's on this list because he made impacts and his impacts were felt throughout the team and throughout the defense and, and kind of in the stat books. He didn't make a whole lot of All American teams and All Conference teams and stuff. Defenses were extremely talented. Defenses are extremely talented in the SEC. So a lot of times these Van, uh, these Vandy guys get overshadowed. So, um, but he was certainly recognized, and the Colts said certainly, okay, we're not going to let you get past our second round pick, and here we are. So, uh, Deo Dangbo is somebody that I think absolutely would deserve to be on the cover. Um, any one of these 12 that I'm presenting definitely deserved to be on the cover. And so uh, with him, he's a tackle for loss machine, big, versatile guy. I mean, one thing, the, the best way to describe Deo is the fact that he is versatile and he's a disruptor. And he just flat, 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 flat gets out, gets after you. And he's a good dude as well. So 
Um, excited for him. Excited for him. What he's doing with the Colts. He's going to keep. He's just absolutely crushing it, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, he continues to do so um, in the NFL. So, Deo Dangbo. But uh, next, we're going to look at a legend in the black and gold is Jamie Winborn. So, stay tuned for that. All right, talking about Amazon Fire TV. I will not. Uh, I think there was one day last week where I forgot to put this thing up. So um, I'm not going to forget today, but it's uh, Fire TV is your destination for sports, live games, and highlights to in-depth analysis. Fire TV offers amazing viewing experiences with smart TVs, as well as the Fire Stick that you can plug into your existing TV that provides access to millions of movies and TV episodes, as well as free and live TV. Whether it's opening weekend for baseball, or college basketball tournament, you're going to want to have a Fire TV. T- Fire TV has recently created Fire TV channels. Did you guys know that? Um, they made Fire TV channels to deliver a constant supply of the latest videos from your favorite sports brands all for free. This includes all of us at Locked On, hopefully including me too, and most of the big pro leagues and college conferences as well. Uh, Fire TV channels lets you dive into all the game analysis, highlights, and more to keep up to date on the latest in the world of sports, March Madness, NBA, MLB, and lots more. Not to mention great news, entertainment, gaming, travel, cooking videos as well. So check out Fire TV channels on Fire TV and Alexa devices. If you haven't checked out Fire TV channels, you should. Trust me on this. To learn more, visit Amazon.com slash Locked On Fire TV. All right, we just took a look at Deo Dengbo. Now we are turning our attention to all-star Jamie Winborn. So a little fun fact, a little tale of the tape of Jamie Winborn. Um, he was selected by the San Francisco 49ers in the second round of the 2001 NFL draft. Um, he's played for the Jaguars, the Bucks, the Broncos, the Falcons, and the Houston Texans. He has 44 years of age right now um so love 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 this selection here this is going to be a fun one to talk about jamie winborn was somebody who was just getting flat after it uh in the late 90s uh early 2000s um he was named an scc legend he's vandy's all-time leader in tackles for loss and will be um of course this was from an article um back in october he's going to be he was recognized at the SEC Championship in Atlanta. Um, he was uh, he was honored at the SEC Football Weekend of Champions um, and the SEC Legends. So he was that he had a he was career. Uh, like I said, he earned he was a two time All American. He earned All American honors, All SEC honors as a three year starter <laughs> at linebacker. This is all the uh, from Vandy's official site. Um, he owns two of the top six seasons for tackles for loss in school history, including a school record of 23 in 1999. He was named second team All-America his junior year. He was three-time All-SEC. He led the team in solo tackles from 98 to 2000, finishing his career with 141 total stops. He was selected by fans as one of the top 100 Commodores of the Vanderbilt Stadium era. He was a second-round pick. Um, he had uh, he played for a bunch of teams in a 10-year pro career. Um, he was the 49ers Ed Block Courage Award recipient in 2004 um, after he overcame a neck injury that he had in practice. He's a cancer survivor who won a three-year battle with rectal cancer. Holy crap. Okay, so um, Vanderbilt SEC Legends, he is on, uh, he is on a very, very sh- – um, distinguished list um, there. He joins Javon Hay um, on the defensive line. Uh, Zach Stacy, Don Orr, Chris Williams, Earl Bennett, Jonathan Goff, Jimmy Williams, Hunter Hillemeyer, Corey Harris, Corey Chavis, Jamie, Jamie Duncan, Shelton Quarles, a um, bunch of guys. All right. And there's a bunch of guys. There's a bunch of honorable mentions for, for this, but we're going to talk about 12, um, 12 guys. And, and there's way more than 12 guys that could be on this cover, but uh, Jamie Winborn was somebody that, when you when you saw him play, you just immediately knew that he had uh, that he had the impact. Right? He was he was outstanding. 
Um, he just could not be, uh, he just could not be stopped. And I think when you, uh, I think when you can understand what he has to offer and what he brings to the table, I think you have to understand um, that, you know, he was somebody that was all over the field. He made tackles everywhere. He was, he was sideline to sideline. I mean, he, he is, he is, uh, you know, just, again, he's a beast, man. Like, I don't know how else to say it, but um, he is one of a kind, you know? And so watching him play was such a treat. And he um, patrolled there. He was a great leader, obviously all American, things like that. His, his accolades speak for themselves. Um and had a great pro career uh, on on top of that. Uh, I think in, I think he would have probably had a pro football Hall of Fame type career had he not injured his his neck. But um, you know he is uh, he's good. He's really good. And so I am uh, I'm super excited that he's on this list. I'm super excited that he was uh, you know that he is somebody that I think can can. Uh, can definitely win the cover and definitely definitely be the guy who ultimately represents uh, represents Vanderbilt. So, um, yes, he had uh, he led. Uh, just imagine you coming in as a freshman sophomore during during the the all time physical era of college football and and leading your team and leading the conference in tackles and tackles for loss. I mean, he's the ultimate tackles for loss guy. Um, he is. Um, 16 and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. I mean, the guy was just a force. Uh, I remember seeing him play against teams like, uh, you know, Ole Miss, Georgia, Florida, you know, those teams. I mean, he was just, again, just somebody that you had to account for all the time. Uh, he is somebody that was um, – and, uh, again, his leadership goes unquestioned. I mean, that, that de- he was – true heart of that defense and he was somebody that uh, you could not survive without um in the pros he uh you know he had really he had a really good rookie season uh he played in 14 games started four of them he had uh 41 total tackle uh solo tackles um 54 combo tackles he had two tackles for loss he had two interceptions his rookie year um, his most productive year as far as pass defense goes uh, he had a fumble recovery for 17 yards um, in 2000 his next best season was 2004 coming off injury um, he started he played started 10 games had 63 tackles 54 solos almost completely dead even had four and a half sacks that year so he just just overall strength Speed, just, just, just an all-around really, really good player for uh, everywhere that he went, and he was he was exciting to watch. So, um, Deo Odangbo is a good choice. I think Jamie Winborn is even better of a choice. So, um, you know, again, it all goes, it all goes unspoken there. SCC legend Jamie Winborn. So. Um, what about Jamie Duncan, though? Jamie Duncan is also an SEC legend. We'll talk about him here in just a second. Stay tuned. All right. Locked on jobs. When you are hiring for your small businesses, for your small business, you want to find quality professionals in half of the time. So LinkedIn Jobs is right for that role. That's why you have to check them out. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to find all the right professionals for your team faster and for free. LinkedIn isn't just another job board. LinkedIn has a vast network of more than 1 billion professionals, which makes it the best place to hire. Gives you access to professionals you can't find anywhere else. LinkedIn does all of that while making the process easy and intuitive. Hiring is easy when you have that many quality candidates. It's so easy, in fact, that 86% of small businesses get qualified get a qualified candidate, excuse me, within 24 hours. LinkedIn knows that small businesses are wearing so many hats and might not have the time and resources to hire. LinkedIn is constantly finding ways 
to make the process easier. They even just launched a feature that helps to write job descriptions, making the process even easier and quicker. Two and a half million small businesses use LinkedIn for hiring. So post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. That's linkedin.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Whatever those terms and conditions are, they for sure apply. So keep that in mind. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for making Locked On Vandy your first listen each and every day. Thank you to the everydayers who make all of this possible. Without you guys, it wouldn't happen. Make sure you make Locked On SEC your next listen um, each and every day. Um, Chris Gordy and crew do, do a phenomenal job over there. Couldn't be understated. Steven Willis over at Locked On Ole Miss. He does a tremendous job. Make sure you check that out as well um, if you want to look around the league. So, um, Continue on our list to for the uh, for the S for the uh, Vanderbilt version of the the all time Vandy EA, uh, EA Sports College Football Twenty Five cover. We look at none other than Jamie Duncan. Yep, that is correct. Uh, that Jamie Duncan for sure. Um, he is a little bit older than Jamie Winborn. He's probably some pictured with Jamie Winborn uh, as those two overlapped. Uh, in their college careers, but he is a uh, he is a 1998 NFL draftee. Uh, he was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he also played for the St. Louis Rams and the Falcons. He is 48 years old. He is a native of Wilmington, Delaware. So um, Jamie Duncan is a very intriguing, very interesting uh, player for Vanderbilt. He played 94 to 97. He starred in Wilmington, Delaware. Um and I uh, was recruited by a lot of uh, a lot of power, powerful teams. But um, again, he chose education uh, for for uh, for Vanderbilt. Um, he was immediately a uh, an impact player. He was a very key piece to an outstanding defense, um, and he was uh, he was just good, man. Um, he has. Uh, he has a lot of businesses right now. He's in an enterprise. They do dental care uh, to low pop to low income populations in the United States. That is really really good. So, here's the tale of the tape here for former NFL legend, former Vandy SEC legend. Uh, he was 1997 Southeastern Conference Co Defensive Player of the Year. He made over 300 tackles in his career. He was a two time All American. He was honored as one of the SEC's legends of the game in 2009. He's a seven-year NFL vet. Played and played for the Bucks, the Rams, and the Falcons in the league. So, uh, Jamie Duncan is an interesting, interesting uh, selection here because you have to figure. You know, you you kind of have to go on. Um, like he is, he's in a slightly older generation. So, like the video highlights just aren't quite there for him. So I think a lot of people probably don't know what he's like, but as a linebacker, you know, you are, and this is such a cliche and I hate saying it, but it is true. It is actually true. You are actually the quarterback of the defense. And by doing that, you have to have great leadership qualities, which Jamie Duncan does. He, he's somebody that uh, he, he's going to make sure that his teammates are being held accountable. He's going to make sure that they are uh, where they need to be and doing their job how they need to do it. And so what I really like about Jamie Duncan is that he is um, – he, he backs it up too. Like, you know how there's some guys that they, uh, they, don't, they don't back it up. They just kind of they – just, they're just kind of windbags. So he's definitely not one of them for sure. Um, but he is uh, he's somebody that really uh, – really kind of gets after it. And he was, um, again, he he, uh, he got the job done on the field. He was a force on the defense. He was, uh, him and him and uh, Jamie Winborn were very similar in the style that they played. Both were, were linebackers that were really good downhill. They developed into really good NFL linebackers, which means your skills, your skill sets had to be versatile because the way the NFL was trending was, they were turning to more athletic running backs, more athletic tight ends, 
and inside linebackers getting way more involved than they ever wanted to in the passing game because you know during that time and, and and that before those inside linebackers were monsters that would come downhill and just hit you in the face and they would they would take your head off in the run game and that was their job. Inside linebackers are stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. If you can clog up a passing lane, great. If you can't, absolutely no problem whatsoever. So he's somebody that could do that. He's somebody that adapted um, as the game kind of grew. Uh, and the game kind of grew with the internet era with him, and that was uh, that was good for him to, uh, to see. And so Jamie Duncan, you know, he's an SEC legend. Um, he's a great dude off the field. So, like, if if you're looking at off-field reputation, I mean, these are all great dudes. I, um, everybody that we've talked about are, are great dudes. So, like, they're all deserving uh, based on their off-the-field qualifications. And so, um, it's just, you know, I, I think the voting's going to be really interesting on this one because it's going to come down to like, who's your favorite linebacker? What era did you grow up in? If you grew, if you're kind of a younger guy, you're probably going to root for. You're probably going to – not root for. You're probably going to vote for uh, Deo. If you're an older guy, you're going to root for probably Jamie Duncan or Jamie Winborn, depending on, you know, your NFL fandom and whether or not you, you followed them, things like that. So um, I would absolutely love to have any of these guys on the show. So if these you Vanderbilt legends, if you're listening, would absolutely love to have you on the show. And so um, – I was a little young to watch Jamie Duncan. I saw more of him in the NFL. Uh, didn't realize he came from Vanderbilt. I was, you know, I wasn't much of a fan of any team uh, back in those days because I just enjoyed watching college football. Didn't really know what didn't really know what I was watching in terms of players and, and the product on the field and you know who was good. I just knew that it was a fun sport. There was cool uniforms and uh, my favorite team. One of my favorite teams growing up was actually, and this is going to sting, you know, this is probably going to be like, oh, God, you're, you know, but uh, Florida State was, you know, fun to watch on TV. They had some exciting players um, on their teams. But uh, just, you know, I, I think, you know, there's there's several guys that you, that you look to that that say, okay, we these guys revolutionize the inside linebacker spot. Derek Brooks being one of them. Uh, Jamie Duncan being one of those, and Jamie Winborn also get, uh, carrying the torch and passing the torch along with uh, with Duncan and with Der- Derek Brooks. Those type of guys started becoming the norm across the linebacker position, and the bigger, slower guys coming downhill, they started ending up putting their hand in the dirt. So um, it was a really, really good revolutionary type player. And if he'd have been in this, if he'd have been in a later era, he might have. I don't know if I don't know how well he would have done. Um, he's he's really good. He probably would have he probably would have lasted. Actually, I know he would have lasted. I don't know even know what I'm saying with that. So anyway, but that's going to do it for us here on this episode of the Lockdown Vandy Podcast. Um, thank you for listening. We hope you guys had fun. If you like what you hear, Locked On Vandy on all social platforms as well as Coach Burton Thirty Six on X. Um, find the show. Like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff, and uh, you know I can't wait to um, can't wait to continue this series. We got we got four more players to discuss, and then we're going to start trying to wrap it down a little bit. Maybe talk some honorable mentions to round out the week. Maybe a little bit of baseball as well. Uh, kick off a series against Auburn. That's going to be fun. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but we're going to get out of here. But until next time, anchor down. <laughs>